Greetings, Dwayne from CFRN. We are recapping the S&P 500 E-mini futures for April the 4th. Today is the 5th. If I get two videos done tonight, <coughs> we'll be caught up. And if I don't get two done tonight, tomorrow's Good Friday. I can do the other one tomorrow, and we'll be caught up. I can put it off till Saturday or Sunday, and we'll be caught up. If you've been following the series, uh, this is video number five or six. No, it's more than that. I started on the 23rd, I believe. Well, they're all on the page uh, on YouTube. They're all on the blog, uh, CFRN.net. Just go to any page at CFRN.net. On the right-hand side, click go to the blog or visit our blog. It'll take you there. You can watch the videos on the blog or on this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash CFRN. If you've not yet taken our free trial, I encourage you to do so. CFRN.net forward slash apply. No credit card required. You get to spend five trading days with us in the live trading room. You get, to down, you get to download the platform. You get to use the indicators. You get data for all the futures markets, including Forex markets. So if you like to trade the currencies, the pairs, we got them all. Okay? You get everything. We hold nothing back. Live data, real time, for one full week. Okay? Because we want you to come and see what we have to offer and to see if, you know, our way of going about things uh, might be what you're looking for. You're obviously looking for something or you wouldn't be watching this video. So, let's see if we can help you find what you're looking for. Okay, this black line here represents midnight Chicago time. Opening of the calendar day, April the 4th, which would be a Wednesday. Today's Thursday the 5th correct? Yes. I think most of you, well, some of you already know that when the Globex session begins at 3.30 Wednesday afternoon, that's considered the Thursday session. Uh, when the session starts on Monday at 3.30 in the afternoon, that's considered the beginning of the Tuesday session. I'm recapping these uh, from midnight to midnight. And the reason I'm not focusing just on the day session is because we have partners, CFRN partners, uh, around the globe. So many of our partners are actually trading the hours other than Wall Street or Chicago hours. So let's get rolling. By now you know this is a bearish cross and when that happens we're looking to sell the market. Where are we going to sell it? We get our first trigger right here. Okay. Now, was this a whole lot of move that you didn't get any of? Yeah. Based on the very, the most basic setup that I'm showing you in this video series, that is correct. You didn't get it. Now, is there a way when this happens right here when that happens is there a way to just be in this move there is and we can teach you more about that when you become a partner okay but for now I'm going to show you the simple basic setups like I've been doing we're going to use I'm going to use my weekly trading zone line tool just to make it easy for you to see price Price pulled back to 1399.25. Price then fell to 1399.50. Let's see if we got that right. 1399.25 minus 13. 
95, 50, three and three quarter points. From the entry there to here or here, 3.75. Now, if you took it off here and got exactly 3.75, could you have sold it here? Yes. And if you took it off at the bottom of that candle, could you have sold it again? Here? Well, yeah. The answer is you could. If you're taking these entries down here, you're getting in at, oh, 1398. Price is still dropping to 95.50. So this move here would be worth. Two and a half points. See how that works? From here to here is 3.75. From here to here is two and a half. Now, what's the chance that you're going to get exactly three and three quarter points out of this move? Well, you could look left and go, hmm, that low there, it bounced pretty good. Some people call that support. Others uh, call it supply. You can give it any name you want it. But, all, but what we do know for a fact is that when price hit 1395.50, it made a nice bounce. Yeah. Came back down, tested it again. You got three and three quarter points on the table. You can stick it out, ride it out, see if the market hands you more. Or you might have just been out back up here with uh, two points and possibly be done for the day. Fair enough. All right. Okay, so we had one leg down, two legs down, arguably three, four although these legs are getting smaller and that's something that you'll learn in the live trading room <clears throat> and if you become a partner see this move down is starting to weaken here okay now we can't hide the fact that it's not over okay? but it's but the momentum is slowing okay so you know one two three decent entries are you going to take this pullback here? Well, for argument's sake, we're going to say you did. Because we're not using any of the other tools to filter. We're not using the cycle, the DMT, uh, slingshot, none of the other stuff. In this video series, I'm just showing you our most basic setup uh, and how reliable it can be. Okay? So. Let's get this out of the way. Let's pull this down. If you shorted this, okay, if you shorted 1397 and a quarter, you had to draw down to 1398 and a half. That is a point and a quarter. So, you mean I'd still be in the trade? Yep, you'd still be in the trade. Now, over here, we get a bullish cross, but we never get a trade opportunity because there's never any kind of a pull away. There's no valid, there's no setup to be long. Plus, we're already saying that you're in this trade. Now, okay, let's argue that the other way. What if you didn't take this trade, but you saw this bullish trade come along? There, I'm just telling you. 
and I can't get into any more detail right now but there is no valid long trade here there's no air no space okay gotta have a pull away to have a pull back all right just I'll leave it at that okay so you're still in this trade where does it go from 1398.50 all the way down to 1389 and a quarter 1398.50 minus 1389 and a quarter 9.25 Okay, now that was the entire move. 9 point 9 and a quarter points. from here to here could you have taken some off anywhere along the way two points three points four points absolutely and then did you get a pullback entry here yes you did and that was good for let's say you got out way back here you said you know man I got four points I'm good and then this little opportunity sets up and you go, I think I'll do I think I'm gonna take that. So it goes from ninety three down to eighty nine and a quarter. So what's that worth? Thirteen ninety three minus thirteen eighty nine and a quarter. Uh it's another three and three quarter points. Now we get a pullback here, and if you took this, you're still trying to drive this thing down. Um, your entry would have been right there at 91 and a quarter, and there was a potential of one and a quarter points in that trade. You're probably holding out for more. So even though the trade itself gave a point and a quarter of profit, I'd rather just call it a stop. Let's just say we got stopped out and be done with it. Okay. Now we get the bullish cross. See, we get the pull away, we get the pull back. Okay, the pull back is to ninety two and it rallies all the way up to ninety three seventy five from ninety two to ninety three seventy five so that's one and three quarter points many people look for a two point daily goal there's one point seven five Maybe took a point out of it. Maybe didn't trade it. Maybe you held out for more. Okay. And you got stopped out. So we'll put a question mark on this one. Just because in the whole series I haven't done that. I'll, I'll give you something to think about. or we can stop it out. We can call it a stop, we can call it a 1.75 profit, or we can just wonder, okay? Now, here, bearish cross, pullback. The pullback is to here. And there's nothing to measure because the trade just goes the other way, period bearish cross price pulls back 
heads north. We don't need to debate whether or not this trade got stopped out because if you're using a two point stop like we do in the live trading room it got stopped out okay bullish cross pullback pullback is right here now because we push our entry one tick 93 and a quarter I'm going to say that you got filled, and but I can't guarantee it, okay? Every trade, almost every trade, without fail, our trades, because we push the one tick, we're going to get filled. But you see, this one came within a tick of pulling all the way back. That's why on this, because there's that one little tick in there, you might not have got filled. If you didn't, you didn't. If you did, you got filled at 93 and a quarter. And price went to 96 half. So 96 half minus 93, 3.25. If you got filled, the trade went 3.25 three and a quarter points it's hard to take three and a quarter points out of a three and a quarter point move can you take two two and a quarter two and a half all day long all right okay on this uh, okay we had a bullish cross traded it up to here if you bought this pullback here you're asking for trouble but let's see you did <laughs> uh, you got stopped out all right then you get a bearish cross okay there's a little space there so we can work with this Pullback is to 94.50 and price drops to 90.75. 94.50 minus 90.75. Our good old against the midnight marker moving into Thursday April the 5th day before Good Friday uh, markets will be closed tomorrow and I will get the 5th recapped prior to the open on Monday and then we'll be all caught up uh, with this video series okay, if you have any questions email me support at cfrn.net to take the free trial just go to cfrn.net forward slash apply and I'll be happy to teach you how to do this very thing <laughs>